Alrighty hosses, in this video I'm going to show you the less syntax to write really intuitive nesting rules. So say that for example I wanted to make a left navigation menu on my website. Now inside this menu I was going to have a bunch of links and I wanted to style those links differently than the rest of the main content. So I know you guys are thinking alright gonna have to like write a bunch of classes or maybe I'll just like make a bunch of child elements inside the nav and I'm probably gonna have to add a huge long comment for the designers like hey these links are different than regular links it can be kind of a pain in the butt right well with less syntax it makes it incredibly easy so say that the main area on the left hand side we're gonna give it an idea of like side nav now inside here, directly inside, what you can do is you can actually embed other properties. So for the main side navigation, the main area, we'll just give the entire thing a background of like a um, 333, which is like kind of dark gray. It's actually kind of this color right here, this main area. Now inside here, we can actually stick a property like our link styling. Now what we're saying is we're going to style these links but only apply the style to the links inside the side navigation. So it's pretty much exactly like your brain thinks of it and not some you know weird uh, generic CSS syntax that's hard to understand. So since this is a dark area on the left hand side we'll just give it like a color of uh, white and let me just add some other things. So since they are um, not links that you want to put in line, stack them on top of each other. We're going to display those as blocks and also add a padding so they don't just look like a list and actual, you know, navigation menu items. So I'll put a padding of like 8 pixels. Now you can actually have more than one in here. So say for example, I wanted this to change whenever the user hovered, hovered over these links. I want to change the background to like a some lighter gray color. How much easier is this to understand than this right here? Like okay, um hopefully that doesn't get jumbled up with anything else. Gonna have to add a bunch of comments so you know the developers don't do anything weird to it. Look how easy that is to understand all nice and organized for you. Now let me just show you guys that this actually works. So for the div, remember we gave this the ID of SciNav and now let me just put a bunch of links in here so link make sure it's a dead link and I'll just put like a home what pages would be on my website home about and bacon best website ever now I actually wanna include one other thing down here just so I can stick a link in it and show you that they do get different styling so wow I love um, wow I love uh, the new Boston it makes me feel complete alright so check this out boom and this is because I apparently already want to be better should be alright so check it out so we're saying only style the links inside this side nav which is you know it's not on the side I don't really feel like actually floating it to the left and making a nice layout but check it out these links right here keep the same basic generic styling and we can really intuitively see that whenever we stick anything inside this side nav that this is how it's going to be styled but only apply the styling to elements inside this side nav div right here so pretty cool takes care of all of it behind the scenes for you really intuitive really awesome ladies and gentlemen that is nested rules in less